Good evening, folks. It's Diamond with the Oppenheimer Ranch Project Magnetic Reversal News and Shinrin Yoku bringing you a solar eruption update Saturday, May 29th, right before midnight, 2021. A long duration eruption has emanated from our sun. It's true. A long duration eruption LDE measuring C 9.4 was observed around AR 2824 towards the northwest limb on Friday evening. Imagery is courtesy of SDO A1A. Along the stereo chronograph imagery shows that an impressive coronal mass ejection or CME is associated with this flare at C 9.4. A minor S1 radiation storm, the first of Solar Cycle 25 did occur about 12 hours ago. There it is above the line, the threshold. And here we can see that long duration, about two hour C flare up in the nine range occurring 24 hours ago. Here is the ISWA signet streamer prediction. And this is showing a potential glancing blow sometime on Monday. So heads up Monday. This is, uh, the Soho Movie Maker movie, and we could just play it through the boom. And let me just back it up. We'll suck it back in, and we'll play that boom back out. Boom! We'll suck it back up, and we'll play that back out. Boom! So quite a significant CME there. There is some material there. There is some material there. So we're looking at a, a large coronal mass ejection. Most of it's traveling away from Earth. And here's Lasco C3 showing that um, amazing amount of material. Now, what you want to look at is the materials coming out of this side, but look at the opposite side of the sun where we can also see a simultaneous blast. Did you see the shockwave moving out? That's the little halo aspect of it showing that plasma is moving in all directions. So watch for the shockwave to happen while the CME occurs. And you can see that blast moving out. So that's one of the reasons why we think that there may be a low-level geomagnetic storm here. And we'll play it through. Boom. So here is the Enlil spiral in slow-mo. And you can see that glancing blow occurring where we're going to have a probably a slight thickening of the plasma. Here we see a short jump in Stereo B on the first. And so according to the three-day geomagnetic forecast, it's just low-level geomagnetic instability, G0, but we could get up to KP5 and G1. So keep a close eye on that. And just a heads up on a long duration CME coming off the side, well, of our plasmosphere. Proper prior planning prevents piss poor performance when the sun is awakening and the grid is at risk. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Share this with like-minded people and be safe. We love you. That's a boom to knowledge. It's good to be back. Ding, ding, ding.